Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let us discuss how to do the isometric view of a given angle plate. Here isometric view means three dimensional diagram. We have to do the three dimensional diagram by using the front view, top view and side view of the given angle plate. Here front view in the shortcut form they have written FE. This is a front view diagram, two dimensional diagram. This is the top view and this is the side view. So three views have given by using these three views we need to do the isometric view. Okay. In shortcut form we can take, we have to convert 2D diagram into 3D diagram that is isometric view. Okay. Here the given diagram is 2D diagram just now I told. We can call it as orthographic projections also. Okay. For doing orthographic projections we have two methods. First angle projection method and third angle projection method. So in the given diagram it is a first angle projection. Why means here front view is coming initially in the first angle projection. Below the front view top view is coming. So they have given front view. Below it, it is a top view and the side view is coming after the front view. This is a side view. So according to the given diagram, this is a first angle projection. Okay, here we have one separate video. What is first angle projection? What is third angle projection? I will give the video link in description box. Please check it. Here we should know according to the given diagram, it is a first angle projection. Okay, now in it, take the front view initially. In the front view, initial point we have to take. Okay. We can take this point also, but at the end of the video, I will tell why we are considering only this point is a initial point. Take this is a point. Here, take some gap for doing the isometric view. Here, I will do. Now, I am taking one of the point here. Okay, this is a point at which I will take one horizontal line. Take this is a reference line. So, at this point, take inclined lines 30 degrees and 30 degrees lines this side 30 and this side 30 now join these two points to this point do the lines of some length like this so here this line and this line are creating 30 degrees to the horizontal after that at this point take this width okay how much it is 65 mm so mark that 65 on this line by using scalar compass take 65 mm one dark line mark the end point like this here we took 65 mm at this point take this height it is 15 mm here in isometric view always remember vertical lines are coming as it is okay take this is 1.5 centimeter take this is the reference line just do one line of some length on it take 15 mm make it dark so at this point we did this vertical line as well as we took this 65 mm here what is the height of this cell shape here this height is it has given the dimension this side okay same projectile lines it is 40 mm okay so at this point at the end of 65 take vertical line of 40 mm take this is the reference line move the scale just do one vertical line here on it take 40 mm make it dark in this diagram we did this part okay so in the front view we can see this l shape okay in, and make the l shape here also in the isometric view for it mark this thickness 15 mm okay this 15 mm is parallel to this line here 15 mm is parallel to this line okay so take this is a reference line move the scale here do the lines of some length on it mark 15 mm now at this point do the vertical line as i told vertical lines are as it is do of some length so here from this point also do the line okay this line is parallel to this line here this line is parallel to this line make a dark line this l section is a front view okay in the front view we can see this projection also okay for doing that projection initially we have to do the side view okay so what is a side view width this width so this width we will get the dimension okay this dimension here okay same width we are taking here okay how much it is 40 mm so on the side view we have to do 40 mm line okay this is 40 mm so on the second 30 degrees line mark 40 mm 
okay here in the side view here we did this line after this line here one more line is there how much this gap already we took this gap by using the projectile lines it is 15 mm okay do the 15 mm vertical lines here already we did here also do the vertical line take this is the reference line so at the end point do the vertical line on it mark 15 mm we can see this box okay now join this point to this point so this box will come here take this as a reference now we will get the end points on this line this is a side view some part of the side view okay here we took some part of the front view some part of the side view now take the top view in top view it is looking like one box what are the dimensions of this box this width is 65 here we have marked 65 by 40 mm okay so here in the top view if you see from top this is a 65 mm this is a 40 mm we have to make one box okay the intersection so before doing that box here let us check at this vertical height that vertical height is looking like rectangle okay here at this point okay take the line this thickness how much width it is 15 mm already 15 mm we have marked so this rectangle should come here okay now for doing it this line is the reference line move the scale here do one line here also do one line okay now what is the thickness of it 15 mm already we took 15 mm here what is this width it is 40 mm so mark 4 cm here 4 cm here initially make it dark at 4 cm join these two end points here in the top view we did this part okay if we see from top we can see this rectangle okay after that we can see this line also okay so for doing it just do one line here here one line so that we can make l section okay we have to do l section here for doing l section do vertical line as it is whatever height here do that height here here do one line okay so let us take this is the reference line so at this point do one vertical line of some length so at this point do the line parallel to this take this is the reference line so at this corner do the line up to this intersection point getting this L section just join this point to this point here after getting this L section in the front view we are seeing this one more projection also okay where is that projection in the top view that projection is looking like one rectangle okay here if you see from top this line is a rectangle just roughly I will do here it is looking like rectangle in the top view okay it is looking like this in the side view if you see it is also looking like rectangle here also we will get one rectangle okay here one rectangle here one rectangle like this roughly I am doing okay if you see from side this rectangle will come if we see from top we will get this rectangle okay where are these rectangles so if you see from this side it is at the middle okay if you see from top this rectangle is also at the middle of this 40 mm so here we need to build two rectangles let us build this rectangle okay initially so here where is that rectangle okay so if you see here in this 40 mm this is 40 correct this is 40 so in this 40 we have to take the middle line middle line here we have to take at the middle so it is 10 mm we have to take this side 5 mm this side 5 mm okay so that we can build this rectangle what is the height of this rectangle it is 20 mm okay initially build this rectangle okay in the top view also it is at the middle of the 40 mm mark the middle point do thin line at the middle point okay this is the middle line for this 40 after doing the middle line what is this width 30 mm okay from this point take 30 mm okay from the L section it is 30 mm so on this line take 30 mm point 30 mm so after marking width here on the middle line what is the thickness it is this thickness we are marking here okay this is 10 mm okay mark that thickness 
here at 30 mm so this is 30 mm at this point on the middle line so 10 mm is take this is the reference line at this point do one line initially on it mark this thickness that is 10 mm so this side at the middle point this side 5 mm this side 5 mm total 1 centimeter okay mark that width of this 10 mm okay how much height it is it is 20 mm okay at this points end points do 20 mm lines okay as we know vertical lines are as it is do line of some length here also do the line of some length only take height of this 20 mm take 20 mm here make it dark here also take 20 mm at the end point like this after building this rectangle now build this rectangle okay now this uh, thickness this width is 30 mm and this thickness is 10 mm okay because in the top view this is 10 mm we can get this top view this width is this thickness is 10 mm okay now here for building this rectangle from this point take 30 mm from this point take 30 mm and join to this L section okay take this is the reference we have to join this point to L section okay how much width it is 30 mm so only take 30 mm make it dark of 30 mm this will be the invisible part after coming this just remove this part now this is 30 mm at this point also do 30 mm take this is the reference line and at this point do the parallel line on it take 30 mm now after getting this join this point to this point make join this point to this point also so this is the rectangle we are seeing in the top view now complete this part in the front view we can see this portion okay here also do the line of 30 mm remove this part initially here also do the 30 mm line take this is the reference move the scale at this point and do one line mark on it 30 mm okay here join this point to this point take this is the reference line This is the isometric view for this front view, top view and side view of the given angle plate. According to the given question, this is the first angle as I told. This side view is right to this diagram, correct? But here we are taking the side view is left to the diagram. Okay, this is the left side. We are seeing from the left side, correct? Okay, so here right side view we are doing at the left side. So reverse views we are taking in the first angle projection. Okay, so why we are taking front view here means instead of this side. So according to the given diagram, it is a right side view. We have to do at the left. So side view I took in the left side. That's why I took the entire diagram this side. This front view this side. Okay, it is the only reason for taking this point is the initial point here in this direction. Okay, okay. Let us assume if this view has given this side. Okay, that is left to the diagram. So at that time we have to take this left side view, we have to take at the right side. Okay. And this diagram, this front view is coming this direction. Okay. In order to avoid confusion, only I will tell one thing. Here reverse views we are taking. This is the right side view, we have to do at the left side. So remember that one. Whatever left side we are taking, the another side we have to do with the front view. Okay, here mark the given dimensions. Here this width is 65 and uh, this width is 40 and here this thickness is 15 and here all dimension lines should be parallel to the main line here also dimensional line is parallel to the main line and here this thickness is 15 mm here a mark okay and then this is 30 this box and this height is 20 here a mark 20 and this thickness is 10 mm okay in this way we have to mark the dimensions uh, we have to cover all the dimensions in the asymmetric view if you like this lecture, please press the like button, subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.